So we're back for the second game tonight, and we've got Malvern in the blue playing uh, Altona East in the black and white. Altona East now. We're interested to see what kind of teams uh, we've put out here tonight. Wasn't a great opening to the first round for both teams. Uh, throw into Altona East. Uh, some of the comments on the sideline here. Enjoy. Through ball there, but nobody there except the old Tona East defence. It's in the last game. Uh, Altona East lost 3-0 to East Q. While uh, Malvern defeated uh, Heidelberg to got three goals to two. Goes out to a throw in for Malvern. Malvern currently sit in second place on three points and East Q on top with three points. Alterna East on the bottom with zero points. My apologies, I don't have team lists currently for this game. As the lights now come on and it starts to get dark, we've got a bit of a twilight game happening now. Yeah, the ball's gone out for a throw in. The referee's called for a foul here for Malvin.
Cross comes in. Cleared by the Alterna defence. That's Rossi. Ball goes out high and wide for a throw into Mulvin as Alterna East get the chance to push up away from their goal. Goes out to Loy. Number 15 for Malvern now. Oh, shot comes in from the Malvern player. A little bit high and wide. Kick by the goalkeeper. Ball goes long up the wing. Ahmed picks that one up. He goes back to the keeper. Ahmed goes long over the top. Yeah. I think that's the young Nick Anastasiades. There's a long range shot. Back to the keeper. A long and high ball. El Tonerys player out there in the left back position. To go forward. And the ball's gone out for a throw in. Now, Tony's now break forward out on the left. Cross comes in. Cleared by the centre backs. Now Turner East able to control the ball. Ball goes out for a throw in. It's 
cleared by the defender. Great turn there. And shot, but a little bit wide. You know what, Platano, I've had more touches than some of the players out on the pitch here. I've had two touches of the ball today. Showing a bit of skill. And that's uh, Krippentiris, a uh, goalkeeper. Goes long. So Ahmed throwing from the Malvin. Tona East looking for options here. Goes out to Tsifidis. Cariotis. Not played there by Malvin. Ahmed. Nice play in there, and Nick uh, Anastasia has had the opportunity to open the scoring and just go slightly wide. It's a little bit of inexperience from the 18-year-old. Yeah, but if he gets into positions like that, I'm sure the goals will start coming in. So keep it play short. Goes out wide. And ball's turned over for a throw into Malvin on the far side. Ball comes in. Now I'll turn her east. Ball goes over the top, and that's uh, the opportunity for Armour to take control of the ball and spreads it wide. Seems cleared by the El Tonaris player. No. Bundled over by uh, Anastasiades. And El Tonaris get the free kick. El Tonaris again. Trying to bring the ball out. 
And uh, Malvern throw. Well, I think uh, the replay will show that it was the wrong decision. But anyway, we, off we go. Malvern now with the opportunity to break wide on the right. Still got the ball. Poor cross. I'll turn Reese clear easily. Ahmed easily wins that ball. Okay, and the Malvern defence in control here. Throwing over the far side for the Alterner East. Ball comes back and Dean Anastas oh sorry, Nick Anastasiades gets the opportunity to break forward. Of course, uh, Nick is the son of Dean Anastasiades. Alterner East clear the ball. Armoured there again. Pick up the loose ball. And he keys the throw in. Through the cross comes in, it's cleared by Malvin's uh, defence. Ball turned over by Malvin. Now Malvin got the chance to break. The cross comes in, and that's uh, Kipertidi's uh, save. So easily done, he quickly plays on. Malvern now. Looking for the opportunity out wide. Yes, and the player gets it. Gets his cross in, pulls it back. Oh, and it hits a defender. And then the, uh, the ball that breaks away sees Malvern take the lead. I think that's uh, Lucas Gavronas is the scorer. My apologies, I don't have all the numbers, and a lot of the numbers says I've got three number fours, and I've got four number nines. But uh, hopefully we can get all that uh, sorted out in the next few games, is player lists and player numbers. It was good to see South Melbourne today actually have uh, player numbers on the shirts. So we restart now. Looking for the long wide pass, but that's gone straight and narrow and uh, Keeper picks it up easily. Now, Mullen get the chance to break. Nobody's going to him. He has a shot, and the keeper deals with that easily. And from what I saw in the last game, Kipper and Tidis, uh, the uh, goalkeeper, it's not a bad, uh, doesn't do too bad a job. Very competent. A little bit of lack of understanding between the Altona East players. And that's what these tournaments are for. Build up your form and get ready. Altana East last year had a very good season um, in State League 2. There was a ding-dong affair there with uh, Clifton Hill and uh, Westvale Olympic and a couple of other Greek teams in the western suburbs. And I expect them to do well again this year. Old Malvern City last year in State League 1 missed out on the opportunity for promotion, but... Uh, it's been the story for Malvern for the last few years, but uh, this might be their year. 
especially if the uh, next or second division comes up and there's some a lot more movement going up. Unfortunately, state leg one's very difficult to get out of. You must finish first. Now Malvin with the opportunity. And now Altona East with the opportunity. Go looking for the wide player in Rossi. Rossi working hard, gets the ball back. Looking for support. And Altona East with, <laughs> with the opportunity, but the, he's turned over the ball. And now comes straight back at uh, Altona East. But the keeper's well onto it. Tonor East now. Ball comes out wide. Good opportunity now. First touch a little bit hard. And that's a throw into all Tonor East. Throw in for Altona East. Finally, somebody gets it under control, but Goes way too forward, far forward for the goalkeeper to easily take care of. So Ahmed now goes wide. Good ball out there for the winger. Tona East now. Rossi. Again, the opportunity for Old Tona East out on the wing. And the referee gives that a goal kick. Goes forward. Get there, Get there. Get there. Altona East able to recover. Goes out wide to Rossi. Maker. Goes wide into the corner, but I think it's going to go out for a goal kick. It certainly is. That's a goal kick to Altona East. Let's go, Campbell. 
And goalkeeper going to go long now. One by Malvin uh, midfield. Out to the number 15 of Malvin. Goes out wide to Rossi. Malvin now. The wide ball comes out to the left back. Drives the ball forward. I think he's looking for the winger out there on the right. And ball goes over the top for a goal kick to Malvin. A bit cool here this evening. A nice cold breeze. Good football weather for the players. As Malvin looks to break wide on the right. A free kick out on the far side for Altona East. Most of the play's been over that side. And Park with the ball. Park gets a chance to break through. Gets his cross in. And out for a throw in for Polk on the far right wing. Throw in comes in. Turned over. Sassiades with the ball. Malvin take control of the ball a bit here. Malvin drive now. It has a shot and a good save from the keeper. Comfortable save. So Melbourne with the corner on their right wing. And all the tall timber from Melbourne's in that box. As they play a one, two, change the angle. Play looking for the shot and goes for another corner.
As we wait for the ball to be retrieved, I'd say so far Malvern has been on top and had the better opportunities. But uh, Altena East certainly holding their own. Playing the ball well out of the back. Just a little bit of fluidity up front and in the midfield. And here we go, second corner. Goes deep and long to the far post. Won by the Malvern uh, centre back in Armoured. But Altona is able to clear. Goes wide. Anastasiades with the ball. And to hold it up and looking for support. Goes out for a throw into Altona East. And the Altona East goalkeeper to take the uh, kick, a free kick. Goes long. Oh, the referee picks out a handball out of that. Turn a race now. Player elects to go wide. Still for Tanner East. Malvern now. Final pass not up to the standard, and Altona East able to get it and kick it out uh, for a throw in on the far side. Opportunity now for not good no and free kick for uh, Altona East. The young uh, Anastasia is uh, pulling on the uh, back of the Altona East defender. Touch there for the Altona East player. Astasiades <gasps> gets the cross in. No, headed uh, the Malvern player, headed the ball just over the top. It was a nice cross, nice uh, attempt at the header. And there's a whistle for half time with uh, Malvern leading 1 0.
and we're back with the, a couple of committee members, Vice President here, Jim, and <laughs> a committee member, uh, Chris. Uh, we'll just get their thoughts on uh, what, uh, how you see the tournament. I think it's a fantastic way for the Greek community to engage with um, kids that may not know much about our organisation and uh, all kudos to Michael Karamidos and the team back at the GCM for putting on, this is the second year for this event, so yes. And Chris? I couldn't agree more. I mean, what a wonderful facility here at uh, Heatherton as well, uh, being the hosts and to see all these young players here and older ones too and everyone just getting involved. It's just a real buzz. Um, kudos to, to Michael and the team at the Greek community and we're really proud to be uh, um, part of it. And uh, we hope that the kids connect with their culture at the same time. And, and for both of you, do you think it's a, a, a change in direction for the uh, Greek community to start uh, looking at sports and not just other cultural um, events and uh, programs? Yeah, most definitely, but it's a natural progression, I think. I mean, it's just, it's just if you look at the, the, the kids that are playing here, and uh, it makes me feel quite old, actually. So uh, it's been a long time since I've been kicking a ball around the park, but it's a wonderful, wonderful. And the Greek community has a very strong influence within the game uh, nationally, uh, with uh, people like Chris Niku being on the board and a lot of Greek people running um, uh, Football Victoria, uh, a lot of Greek clubs, and this can only be an extension of that. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more yet again. Um, you know, Greeks have been involved in soccer now since they are jumped off the boats and, and came here. Um, and uh, it's just wonderful to see um, that legacy continuing. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, the kids can later on get involved in their local communities, Greek ones, mm -hmm. and um, do what we're doing now engaging with their youth later on too so yeah yes great. I, I could see that a little bit of youth generation wouldn't go astray absolutely absolutely <laughs> for sure. definitely definitely uh, thank you very much gentlemen for your time and uh, we'll be back shortly with the second half of the game I love it. and we're back into the second half now with um uh, Malvin kicking from left to right and Altona east from right to left and you heard there from Jim and Chris, a uh, Greek uh, community of Melbourne board members. And of course, um, uh, Chris, uh, sorry, Jim is the vice president of the community. And it's good to see that the, uh, the Greek community of uh, Melbourne now looking to get involved in sports uh, a little bit more. And who knows, one day we might even have a basketball tournament too, uh, Platona, who knows? It would definitely be great to get the girls uh, out here and in, in running in our tournament. So here we go. So now um, Malvin with the ball. Alex to go long but intercepted. No foul there, the referee says. All goes long. Dealt with by the Altona East defence. Throwing, it comes in. Free kick for Malvin. Malvin now for the number 13, gets the cross in, a little bit uh, wide, goes out for a throw in for Altona East on the far side.
And another throw into Mulvin on that far side. Thirteen for Malvin, out on the wing, causing a few headaches there for Eltona East. In this early part of the second half. Cross blocked. Back again to Malvin. Look to build up again. Ranging shot, it just goes, it hits the side netting. Malvin growing into this game and dominating a little, even more than what they were in the first half. ball turn the race now able to get forward Headed, headed around there and Altona Reese get a chance to break. Ball turned over. Plenty of time and space there for the left back. Goes into the middle. And free kick for Malvin. Free kick for Malvin, about 30 metres out. Cross comes in, cleared by Altona East. While Altona East haven't had the run of the game, they certainly have been very solid in defence. Throw into Altona East.
Ahmed moves forward. Nice interplay by Marvel there. They break into the box at the crossing. Claims for handball when the referee's not having any of it. Raced again with the ball. Nice through ball there for the winger. Gets a chance to poke it, but it goes wide and out for a goal kick. Turn our race now. Push forward. It's going out for a throw in wide on the left for Altona East. Number 54 asking for it. He must be a bit of a long throw specialist. As we wait for the uh, interchange. Now a long throw comes in. Opportunity for Altona East. Worked a bit of a treat, that long throw. Cross comes in. And a free kick for Malvin. Malvin player down at the moment. There's a call for assistance. Substitution made. Bring in the changes to keep the players fresh, give them every opportunity to get some game time. And Malvin take the kick. Looking for the opportunity here, opportunity to score. 
Again, the uh, Altona East defence stands tall. So throw in on the right, uh, the left wing for Malvin. Ball comes in. Nice ball, but keepers there. Again, Altona Reese stand tall. Keeper looking to go long. Ball goes out for a throw in on the right wing for Altona East. And a player who was taking those long throws has come off. So let's see what Altona East does here. Throw comes in into the box. Rossi has a shot. Ahmed gets clear, out to his winger. Nice uh, long diagonal pass, uh, the player was unable to control it. Ball goes into the box and the uh, Turner East defender heads it back to his keeper, who plays it quickly out to the right wing. Throw into Malvin. Northfitter gets it out wide to the number 13 again. It's been a big constant threat for Altona East. Can't get his cross in as it's blocked. Not offside, the referee is there. Oh, beautiful cross and the number. 11, or well, the number nine, is it, scores. Well, the number 13 has, has been tormenting the uh, Altona East defence out here on the right wing. And he finally broke through and got a fantastic cross in for Malvin to score. And Malvin now lead two goals to nil. Now, Altona East to kick off. I'll tell you what, Platon, um, I had fussle leather tonight for dinner. I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> Feeling a little bit bloated here. And off we go. Game's uh, back in play. Battle in the midfield there. Molvin get the ball. Post it forward for the uh, number 13 to run onto, but the keeper's there first. Malvin Bench going on about the technicalities of the game. Now Ahmed with the ball. Beats a couple of players. Uh, 
Uh, on the wing now, and the seven's looking for an opening or an opportunity to shoot. Lays it off. And that's well wide. Now we'll turn a race playing out of the back. Oh, then the number 13 gets onto it again, lays it off for the goal scorer, and he tries to chip the keeper. Some lightning fast attackers there for Malvin. Now I'll turn her east. No. Yeah, we've gone for about 19, 20 minutes here, with about 10 minutes left to go. Throw in for old Turner East. And tries to go long. Oh, nice play there by Altona East. <coughs> this pass gives uh, Malvin a, an opportunity now. That's the number 13 again. Lines it up and oh! This is a great opportunity to score. Put the third goal in for uh, Malvin. Zoltana is play on quickly. <laughs> Malvin with the ball. Come into the middle for the 20 to have a shot. Oh, and a straight to the keeper. Keeper goes long. And it goes out for a throw in. Over now. Nice through ball there for the winger. And he gets onto it. Looks to get into the goal and off the line by the number 48. The old Tona defence 
still standing strong under intense pressure. The long range shot and it hits the side netting. Throw into Malvin. Long throw. Go straight to the uh, Malvern Centre back in Armoured. Rossi. Long ball into the box and picked up by the keeper. Armoured now, bring the ball forward. into play there by the Elton East team. And about five minutes to go. Question is if Elton East can pull a goal back or Malvern score another one. Anastasia this now plays it through for the thirteen. See if we can get it cross in now. Lays it off, cross comes in, oh, and the goal scorer, the number 41, just goes over his head. So Tolan Aris now coming forward. Throw in from Malvern. Oh, sorry, I'll turn her east. Rossi gets to it first.
that tussle in the midfield. Finally, Polk come through. Rossi. Flick on there for the right back of uh, Malvin, the number 19. He's had an outstanding game. He looks to take on some more players. Probably one too many. And Rossi's had a pretty good game for Altona East to, tonight. And And the number 13 had to uh, beat the linesman on that one, as well as the defender, and he, but he does get the corner. Yeah, corner taken quickly, short corner, cross comes in. Keeper well up to it, and he's done a very good job tonight. Even though he's conceded a couple of goals, it's been uh, keepers had a great night. Goes along. Hmm. Not long to go in this game. Long throw. But Armour comes away with the ball. Goes wide out onto the left. To the number 41, the earlier goal scorer. He goes wide to the 13. Nobody there except the old Tona East defence. Oh, it was a poor touch. Interesting, everybody got very excited about the handball in the middle of the pitch. Don't think it's going to make much difference. Number 20 for Malvin now, looking to cross the ball in. Bit low and flat, flicked on by the 13 for Malvin, but straight to the keeper. Goes long, trying to catch the Malvin defence out. The referee will blow uh, time any moment now. Nice ball, finds Anastasiades. He's got the opportunity to have a shot. No, too many defenders to beat. So corner now for Malvin. So I'd say this is pretty much be the last kick of the game. Delay your 
Cross comes in. Altona East deal with it. And comes out of the edge of the box. Nice shot from the Malvern player. Keeper well up to it again. Another cross comes flying in and the header goes over the top. So Malvern had a couple of chances there. The goalkeeper dealt well with the first one and the second one went well over. Malvin with the chance to go forward. Crosses it in, nobody there. Blocked by the old Tony East defender. And ladies and gentlemen, that is good night. Malvin winning 2-0 over Altona East. There we go. All right, good night, everybody.